So after my one-on-one -on -one with Annie Duke, it's become evident that considering I'm in Aruba, I have been moving way too fast, physically and mentally. So I think the best thing to do is slow down and process. So maybe I'll lay out on the beach? Nah. I have a better idea. How about a little kiteboarding? Okay, my name is Armando. I'm born and raised here. Um, I've been kite surfing since 1998. I was the first one who brought the sport to the island. So I went surf for like a lot of years and then, then I discovered kiting and then kiting is like a lot more fun because kiting, the, first of all, the traveling is a lot easier. I mean, kite bag is like a little handbag, you just put it on your back, you know, so you can really pack up really small and you can basically travel around the world, go anywhere, discover new spots and it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. Aruba is, is one of the best locations to learn kite surfing because we have the, the trade winds, it blows for over 300 days a year and especially this spot right here it's it's really good for learning the water is flat the water is shallow most places you can touch so we which make it very ideal for a beginner you know another thing that makes it easy for a beginner is lessons and francis is just the guy to show you how Shano, how you doing good today? good good man good i'm psyched i'm ready you're ready to rock yeah how much kite have you already done uh, well, I had my beach lesson with uh, XL Kites in Florida, but okay. I haven't really kiteboarded in the literal sense. Okay, so, so. today we're going to get wet, okay? <laughs> we're going to learn how to just keep the kite under control. Maybe at the end of the lesson we're also going to grab a board, stop practicing some starts as well. This harness, it's got a hook on the front. You're going to be able to hook yourself into the kite so you don't have to hold all the power in your arms. Shane, do you think you'll make it? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is an intimidating sport. I imagine it's a lot like wakeboarding, but you're driving the boat at the same time. I'm not worried, though. No, man, I'm psyched. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. Not one bit. I'm really not worried about it at all. Check it out. I want to make sure this bar, the control bar, is away from you, OK? When you start pulling it in, you get a lot more power. Okay? Yeah. And start pulling it. Try and keep it nice and relaxed up there. Okay. Get a feel for that kite. Okay. So remember, you're in Aruba, so you can just stay nice and chilled out with the kite. That's easy enough. Now it's time to learn how to body drag. It's an awkward phase in kiteboarding, but it'll teach me to control my momentum with the kite and also how to get back to my board in case I lose it. And I probably will. And now that that's over with, it's time to see how everything comes together on the board. You're doing all right. Maybe a little bit overconfident, but uh, we're going to see. So uh, the truth is in the board. You just slowly drop down in the water, trying the whole time just keep your eyes on the kite, because that's the most important element. Here goes nothing. Yeah. OK, that definitely didn't go as planned. But we learned from our mistakes. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All, up. All, up. All of a sudden, it clicked. And I was on my way to Venezuela. Well, I guess my luck hasn't totally run out. Not to say that it was all good from there, I still took my beatings. But I can't imagine something more worth a few face plants. Especially when you see the future potential. Gradually, you become less aware of the kite, you lean back and just go. You're gliding as fast as you would be behind a boat, but with only the sound of the wind. He's like Captain Kirk on Warp Speed 8, man. He's going very, very fast. Whatever happens with the kite, he stays on that board. He's like stuck to it. Take me out again tomorrow. And once you ride the wind, it's as much of a rite of passage as it is an experience. Welcome to the club, right? Well, let me introduce you to another type of club.